Hey students, we're going to record just a quick, very quick video just for this first page. And then there's a second video that's much longer um, having to do with um, similar shapes and the shortcuts with reasoning for them. But right now we're just going to talk a little bit of a refresh on similar shapes. So polygons, in other words, shapes that look like this, are similar if they are the same shape. Angles in the similar polygons are going to be congruent, meaning the angles are going to be equal. And the side measures in the similar polygons are going to be proportional. You could say scale too, but, but we're going to stick with the word proportional. Let's take a look at some of these. Okay, so I am looking at these uh, pairs of shapes and I'm trying to wonder like, are they the same? Well, let's look at this triangle first. I have a triangle that's 35 and 55. And I know that um, all triangles have 180 in them. So I should have 35 plus 55 plus some other value is going to add up to 180. And then if I kind of combine things and then subtract that from the other side, that tells me that this third angle in the corner is a 90 degree angle. Well, hey, I have a 90 degree angle there. And similarly, I have a 90, a 55, that would mean that this corner was 35. So I have two triangles that are different sizes, but because their angles match up all the way around as a triangle, I can claim it's the same shape. All right, this next one is a pair of rectangles. And in the rectangles, I have 90 degrees all the way around, which that is that is helpful. But I need to make sure that my ratios match. Whenever I'm a triangle, I only need the angles. But whenever I'm another kind of shape, I need to make the ratios match. So I have a, it looks like I have a two to three ratio for my short side and my short side. Two divided by three. And on the other side, I have um, a 3 divided by a 4.5. The long sides are a 3 divided by 4.5. And let's just make sure that these are the same uh, number in the end. And they are. They equal each other. So that is also the same shape. And that's because the scale of the sides is equal and the angles match all around. This next one, clearly the shapes don't really seem to be the same shape. Um, we got one that's a square and one that's a rectangle. Now the left rectangle is uh, four units total because it's one by four, and the right one is four units total, two by two. Um, so it's the same size, but the shape is different. Okay, now th this fourth one here, I can kind of shortcut some of this with mental math. If I take the short side and the short side, it looks like they're all double. So three doubled is six. Four doubled is eight. And five doubled is ten. So I can claim that this one is the same shape because I have a consistent scale all the way around the triangle. We're going to get more into the, the details of how that works. Uh, in the, the second part of this video. All right, this next one, I have an equilateral triangle that's four, four, and four. I have another triangle here that's 60 degrees all the way around, and one side is four. Well, that's an equilateral triangle also, and if it is an equilateral triangle, I could say that all those sides are equal to four. So not only are they the same shape, they're also the same size, which is super helpful. This last one's interesting. It's like I have a two, two, and a two, and a two, but very clearly, one of them opens a lot wider than the other. Uh, they are both isosceles triangle. They both have pairs of sides that are equal to two. But besides that, there's not enough information to, to match up for similarity. So there's no similarity there. It's not the same size, not the same shape. Uh, it's, it's too different in enough of the ways. And that's it. Super short video. Uh, there we go.